Hello, you gorgeous humans. Let's get into today's lesson, which is gonna be all about the Pythagorean theorem. Now I'm going to abbreviate Pythagorean theorem by saying Pythag, because it's just shorter. I mean, you try saying Pythagorean theorem five times fast. It is a tongue twister. So in any case, we're going to get into 8.6C, which is a supporting standard. And all we're gonna do today basically is just to fully understand how Pythagorean theorem works and all the ins and outs of a right triangle. Our vocab, we're going to start with what the Pythagorean theorem is. It is in a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs, the shorter sides. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now you're thinking, what is a hypotenuse? Sorry, what is a right triangle? <laughs> a right triangle is a triangle that contains a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees, which we know to mean perpendicular. Then a hypotenuse is the longest side that is across from the right angle. The legs are going to be the shorter sides, but basically all you need to know to be able to identify which ones are the legs, so what is gonna be your leg A and leg B, they're the two sides that are touching the right angle. If it is not touching the right angle, then it is not a leg. I feel like that's easy. Also, it's just gonna be the two sides that are shorter than the hypotenuse. Okay, easy peasy so far. Now, let's get into the ins and outs of a right triangle. So, page two. Step one, we're going to find the right angle. Found it. How do I know that this is the right angle? Well, it has a symbol that indicates right angle. The symbol is this guy. Done, boom. Which also shows us what our legs are. But in any case, step two, draw an angle from the right angle across to the hypotenuse. Across, there we go. So now I know what my hypotenuse is. We highlighted the hypotenuse. How do I know that this is a hypotenuse? Well, because it's across from the right angle. I'm even gonna write it out. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Cool. Number four. Highlight the legs of the triangle in a different color. And I'm gonna say no, you don't have to highlight them in two different colors, just one different color, because truly leg A and leg B pretty much are interchangeable. So here's leg A, I'm just gonna say. And then here's leg B. And I know that those are my legs because they are touching the right angle. They are always touching the right angle. So the hypotenuse is across from the right angle. The legs are the two that are touching the right angle. Basically, they're the two sides that make up the right angle. All right, number five, we're gonna label your legs A and B. Oh, we didn't label our hypotenuse as C. And then my legs, A, leg, B. No, it doesn't matter. You could have done B and A. Label hypotenuse with C. Oh, we just did that. The hypotenuse will always be labeled C, um, which we know to be the longest side. Okay. How do I feel, guys? I feel like this is easy. That was literally it. You're amazing. You can do this. Ask your teacher if you have any questions or you know what? Hey, just rewatch the video.